here at Echo Lake on the Pacific Crest Trail. I'm doing the Section K route of the Pacific Crest Trail. And I just started off at the Echo Lake Chalet Trailhead. And uh, I'm gonna try to make it as far as Dix Lake. I've been there before. In fact, that's the first time that I not saw, but I heard a, a bear right outside of my tent in the middle of the night. So I hope I don't have that experience again. That's about, <laughs> that's about all the excitement that I want as far as a bear is concerned, except seeing it at a far distance. But anyway, we're uh, going down the <coughs> Pacific Crest Trail. <clears throat> and the reason I'm coughing is because it's very smoky up here. Uh, in fact, it's smoky all around the area. There's a fire that's burning in Redding, and it's blowing, the wind is blowing to the south and blowing all that smoke. In fact, there's several fires that are going on at the same time right now. But uh, it's supposed to clear up it's it's really smoke in fact you probably see up above the, above the the mountains i don't think visibility is uh it's i'm sure it's less than a mile but uh it's supposed to clear up tomorrow today's monday uh august the 6th and we're going to hopefully wind up in truckee Donner Pass, I-80, on Friday, August the 10th, I believe it is. My wife just dropped me off at the trailhead, and she's going to be driving back right now. And hopefully she'll be picking me up at the Donner Pass uh, rest area, I believe it's what it's called, right off of I-80, going into Reno. So hopefully she, hopefully she, she's there to meet me. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get an Uber ride all the way to the Bay Area. So anyway, I'm looking forward to this hike and I'm glad you're able to come along with me. And as I always say, this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Even though it's smoky, even though there's fires all around, this is the day the Lord hath made. So I'm going to rejoice in it and uh, have a good time. So hope you enjoy our trip together. And uh, there goes a lizard across the trail. First lizard of the day.
it to Gilmore Lake. I didn't go all the way to Dick's Pass and over Dick's, uh, uh, Dick's Lake. Uh, I just didn't feel like doing a big climb here at the end of the day. It's uh, about 5.30, 6 o'clock, and um, I'm going to attack it early in the morning. But this is home for the night, and let me show you a, a short distance to Gilmore Lake. Good morning. This is June the 7th, 2018, and I'm just now leaving Gilmore Lake. I camped there last night, and I'm heading towards Gilmore Lake. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm heading towards Dick's Lake. There we go. And so i got a pretty good climb out of Gilmore Lake. But we're gonna have a great day today because this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So we're gonna rejoice whatever happens today. And I'm gonna to have to put this camera away because I'm starting a pretty steep climb, almost a thousand feet in elevation and uh, show you some of the views going up to Dick's Peak. top of Dick's Peak, but uh, it's a good view of Dick's Lake below. I'm at 9,154.3 feet in elevation. To the left of Dick's Lake in the background is Fortunellis Lake, and then over to the right in the far background is one of the Velma Lakes. Okay, that was a sketchy crossing. I was not about to film me falling in the 
in the stream there. Well, I'm here at Velma Lake, Middle Velma Lake, and I just stopped for a break and had some lunch. <coughs> Passed a bunch of alpine lakes between Gilmore Lake and here. Started off this morning from Gilmore Lake and then did a uh, almost a thousand foot climb to Dick's Pass. Went over Dick's Pass and uh, got some water there at Dick's Lake and then went on to Fortunellis Lake and now at Middle Velma Lake. So going to try to make it to at least Richardson Lake and even further if I can past that. We'll see how far I can get. Trails are really nice. Uh, it's downhill for a pretty good ways. Uh, that climb, climb into uh, Gilmore Lake was really, really tough. Um, I'm glad I didn't decide to go on to uh, Dick's Lake. Uh, that would have really been a killer. And the 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 uh, trail up to Dick's Pass wasn't too bad until the very end, and then. Oh my goodness, it was almost straight up. Uh, a bunch of switchbacks all the way up the hill uh, and then got up to all the way to 9,400 uh, feet in elevation. That's the highest I've ever been. But a bunch of people at the very top, fellowship with them, talked with them for a little while, shared stories and uh, found out what was coming up next. morning. It's June the 8th, 2018. I'm sorry, June the 8th. August the 8th, 2018. And I'm just now leaving the campsite that I went to last night at Richardson Lake. Um, it's kind of crowded. There's a lot of people there. But uh, had a real good night's rest last night. Uh, Seems like the first night on the trail, I just cannot get a good night's rest. I don't know if it's just a new place or what, but uh, last night I got a good night's rest. Didn't at first, I thought it was gonna be another night like Monday night, but uh, had a good night's rest. And uh, I am starting off to go to Squaw Valley, I think. Uh, we're about trying to make 15 miles today. Made 15 miles yesterday. And uh, really pushing it there towards the end. But it seems like everything's downhill for about, oh, well, about 10 miles. So that's good. I just want to remind you that this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Phew. We're just now starting out. Got to get my, my hiker lungs. But, uh, Anyway, today's going to be a great day. I'm glad you're able to come along with me. So, let's get it.
How's this for a view to wake up to? Except for the smoke. I don't know if you can see it or not, but in the distance, this is the sun reflecting off of Lake Tahoe or Meeks Bay, actually. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning. This is what four days on the trail will do to you. <clears throat> it is Thursday, August the 9th, 2018. And I just woke up. I bet you can't tell. I had a good night's rest last night. I took ibuprofen and um, slept real well. But uh, I was really worried about my bear hang, but uh, no bears even touched it. And I never even came close to the camp. But in just a minute, I'm gonna go to down to the creek that I stayed by. There's a picture of it. I'm gonna wash up and get some breakfast and then pack up and then head out. I'm going to try and make 15 miles today. Um, there's a ridge that I have to go over um, that leads into Alpine Meadows. It's a ski resort here in Northern California, right outside of Tahoe, Lake Tahoe. And uh, <coughs> try to make some good miles today and uh, see how far I can get and hopefully uh, get to I-80 by either Friday or Saturday. We're gonna try. I don't need any water, but this is a nice stream coming out of the mountainside. Good flow to it. Well, I've made it to the Granite Chief Wilderness. Uh, the first wilderness went through was Desolation Wilderness, and then um, there was a section between the border of the Desolation Wilderness and now the Granite Chief Wilderness, where it was just nation, National Forest. But I'm about to go into a different area now, Granite Chief Wilderness and the Tahoe National Forest.
This morning I was at the Alpine Meadows Ski Resort and went through that. And now we are up to the Squaw Valley Ski Resort. It's hard to imagine this all with snow on it. I believe in the 60s, uh, they had the Olympics here at Squaw Valley. Good morning. This is Friday, August the 10th, 2018. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and I'm just now leaving my camp. I camped out at the Squaw uh, Creek. There's a place where you could put about four or five tents and I stayed in one of those uh, tents, or <laughs> tent sites, I should say. Uh, but I stopped here at the uh, the Squaw, let's see if I can find it, there it is, the Squaw uh, Creek as it's flowing down the, the mountain and uh, filled up with some water before I head out. Yesterday I said, this is the day that the Lord hath made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. And I meant it. Uh, I did not realize that yesterday I was going to face plant in the middle of the trail and bust my nose if you can see it. And uh, I think what happened is my, I had my sunglasses on and uh, I hit a rock. I was going downhill and uh, my foot got caught on a rock <clears throat> and I went face first into the, the trail. And uh, I think that's what uh, hit my nose there, busted it open. And also I think the eyepiece uh, got me on the other side. But anyway, I don't know what's gonna happen today, but this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, I'm leaving camp from Donner Summit where I camped last night. And today is the last day of my trek from Echo, Echo Lakes to um, I-80. And today is Saturday, August the 11th. 2018. I've had a great trip, some beautiful, beautiful sights that I've seen, and uh, just a wonderful uh, 
uh, wonderful, magnificent uh, creation that God has made. And uh, may I remind you again that this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So anyway, going down the road and let's get it.